Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. And finally, we have gotten to Chris Adler. This is a player who has been requested so many times on the channel, and uh, we have finally got here. Now, I don't normally do this, I'm not familiar with Chris Adler at all. How dare you? Well, I understand he's a heavier player. And uh, I just wanted a little bit of background on this guy just before we watch him for the first time. So I've just brought him up on Wikipedia. I know Wikipedia is not the gospel on everything, but just to get a little bit of an idea. Christopher James Adler is an American musician best known as the founder and longtime drummer of heavy metal band Lamb of God. Okay, from 1994 to 2019. That is a long run. What is that, 27 years? Twenty-five. Drummer, not a mathematician. Twenty-five years, and Grammy award-winning member of Megadeth. Okay, Adler was a member of Megadeth from 2015 to 2016, playing percussion on their 15th album. Playing percussion on their 15th album, drums, percussion, Dystopia, and performed some touring dates in support of that album, as well as the touring and creative obligations with Lamb of God. Adler played in several local bands, including Calibra, Jettison Charlie, Grouser, and Darker Days before founding Lamb of God in 1994. Adler is well recognized for his open-handed technique, his use of heel-toe technique, and his unusual approach to the drum kit as a left-hand player on a right-hand kit. All right. Yeah, I agree. Left lefties on a right hand kit, they always bring something different to the table. You know, I know a lot of lefties who just play on a right handed kit and also play right handed. So, sounds like he hasn't gone for that approach. Looks like he's going to be playing open handed. I cannot wait to check this out. Remember, if you want to support this Wii channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and leave me a comment with any videos you would like me to get to. And don't be shy picking up your free 30 day trial with Dromeo, link in the description. All right, all right. Coffee, headphones, let's get rolling. I have heard of Lamb of God. I've never heard them, if that makes sense. Really clean pocket and note placement here. Spacing, beautiful. Looks like he's not even... Looks like he's just drinking coffee down the local cafe. He's so relaxed. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it there just on that cymbal choke. That's a great shot, by the way. I love that. Ah, oh, there's just so many things already. This guy is a Zen warrior. He looks so calm. As soon as I saw the drum kit, I mean, I'm not a gear obsessed guy. I'm not a gear obsessed drummer, but his kit looked so ergonomically comfortable. 
I don't know. There's something about it. The angle of the toms, the angle of the snare, everything looked so well thought out and logical. Not seen, interestingly, not seen any open-handed playing yet, I don't think. It's all been crossed over. So maybe we're going to get a little bit of open-handed stuff. This guy, his technique, he is, I'm just noticed here on the side of the video that I've paused, Chris Adler performing at Modern Drama Festival 2005. You know, Modern Drama Festival, big deal, big, big drummers playing there. You got to know your stuff to be playing at Modern Drama Festival. And, you know, Chris Adler obviously would not be out of place there. He is a drummer's drummer. I can see that straight away. This guy knows his stuff. I'll be really curious to see the size of his snare. That's what she said. It could be the morph. It looks like this might be a GoPro or something. It might be the morph on the um, the camera, but the snare looks really t- small. Is it a, a 12, 12 inch diameter? Or a th- it looked, I was going to say 13, but it looks even smaller. Said. It could be That's a 12. What she said. That's what she said. Oh, and by the way, I should have mentioned at the top, I will be stopping this video. So original video link in the description if you want to watch it uninterrupted yeah another one of these guys look i've said so many times the heavier styles traditionally have not been my thing i never went there starting to do these reaction videos one of the advantages selfishly is i get to listen to stuff like this which i promise you i would never ever have listened to before so oh man just This is fantastic. Let's keep it going. This guy's a boss. I love the orchestration and the intent. It's so precise. He's so comfortable. I, I'm amazed at how easy this is for him. It's insane. Syncopated double kicks. Displacement on that second bar there of the snare. Just before I forget, and you guys, you heavier fans out there are going to be proud of me. You know who this reminds me of so far? And I'm, again, not comparing drummers. I, you know, I never want to be comparing drummers, but a little bit, I'm getting a little bit of a Sean Reiner vibe here of just a player who's playing deceptively complicated parts, but it just looks so easy. Let me know if that's a fair comparison. This guy is a boss. There's just so much more here than speed and chops. It's the whole package. It's just great drumming. That snare looks tiny. It must be a 12. Either that or he's a giant. Had no open handed yet. Pres- 
precision on those double kicks. Ooh. Flowing technique. Damn. I chose a good video, eh? Eh? Man. Been sleeping on some of these dudes. Chris Adler. Yeah, I think of the heavier drummers, you know, that I've seen and I'm starting to... My palette is starting to change. I mean, look, I cannot stress enough. I would never have watched, I mean, even the name of the group, Lamb of God. I don't know. I would have probably just avoided it. It's just not my vibe. Not my vibe for whatever reason. And um, if, you, if you're wondering, you know, being a teacher and not teaching these heavy styles, I get requests like this. Oh, I want to learn Slayer and, you know, Lamb of God or whatever. I send them off to a different teacher. I don't teach it because I don't listen to it. So I can't pretend to be an expert at all and these kind of uh, genres styles but i feel like my palette is changing that was killer that was absolutely killer chris adler man <sighs> guys you have to let me know i really want to check out some more chris adler hit me in the comments seriously hit me in the comments with any more of his videos that i should check out i'm going to come back to i think my call was a good one on the sean reinhardt um comparison just both with so much time, so much time behind the kit and just relaxed. You know, even if there's a lot of note density in what they're playing, relaxed, they're letting the sticks do the work. Um, you know, like like a, a drummer, drummer, like a, a modern drummer, festival drummer, that level of player does. You know, not forcing stuff, never looks overly stretched. Using like a sport analogy, you hear of great athletes who have time. You know, you get a lot of um, really good athletes who can compete at very high levels. And then you get someone who's great. And often they look like they've just got more time than other people. And they can sort of see what's happening a few steps ahead of everyone else. I feel like guys like this, you can just see it straight away. That they're just, there's something a little bit special there. And um Jeez, I really dug that. Guys, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you dug this video. And remember, hit me in the comments with uh, any more Chris Adler. I cannot wait to check out more of this player. Until next time, ciao.